Hey, what's going on YouTube? I wanted to show you guys how to make your voice sound good on FL Studio. Whether you want to make it to a beat or to a song, dubstep, whatever the case is. And uh, I am going to apologize for any noises coming from my computer or Xbox or outside because my mic is very sensitive. But um, yeah, we'll just go forward from here. Alright, so let's open up FL Studio. Okay. Take it out of this really quick. So this is what you're basically opened up with whenever you open FL Studio, okay? Um, I showed you guys in my previous video how to set up your microphone, and you had to use this uh, this drive right here, the direct sound devices, and you get the ASIO for all V2, yeah, that. <clears throat> um, so you got to use that. And what I like to do, whenever I record my voice, I like to put it into this thing called Edison or um, and, add, and add layers on top of it to make it sound good. So what I like to do is not just hit record because that's just, it's not the best way to do it by my preferences. The best way I like to do it is go up here for the mixer and and layer it with uh, my own uh, sounds. Now, just for future notice, I have the signature edition. So there may be some that are available to you and some that are not. Um, you have to have the producer edition baseline just to record your voice, I believe, if I do remember correctly. And um, that's the only thing that I would be concerned about. If you have the fruity edition, you can't actually record your voice. So um by the by the producer edition you can and i believe most of these things that i'm about to show you you do have um but i'm not entirely sure so you're just gonna have to try to mess around with it and see what you can come up with but generically i think you should have them so each of these are uh channels and um each channel is dedicated to a certain sound whether it's the kick the clap the hat the snare Whatever you want to put into your song. The master is everything all together. So don't put your microphone or your uh, recording into the master. Put it in its own channel. So let's just use this for instance. Okay. Um, my uh, my uh, microphone sorry, is uh, being used by the screen capture and not for uh, FL Studio right now. So it's not going to come up. But just pretend that when... When you do hit on this little tab right here, that this is just it, okay? So that's just going to be it right now. Um, and that's just gonna play as my uh, microphone. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add stuff on top of your voice after you recorded it. What I like to do is record it with Edison, and I do believe the producer edition does have Edison, okay? Edison is just here to record your voice, and once once it's recorded, it gets pasted right in here, right to where your song is, okay? Um, so you just hit record, and it records your voice, and then you hit stop when, when it's done, whenever you're done, and then you can do all these different options to mix up your voice, make it sound good, whatever you're really looking for. Um, and then once that's done, you just hit X and it's pasted in right there. Actually, it might be pasted in before that, but as soon as you stop recording, it, it gets pasted in over here with the song. Now that that's recorded and whatever you put on top of that, you put other stuff on it. You basically mess around with your voice until it sounds good. Okay? Or or whatever fits your preferences, I wanna say. So I like to put in like a little compressor, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, just to see, it's like cooking, honestly, cause you're, you're messing in with all these different spices, you know, and I don't cook, but I'm just using this for reference, as far-fetched as it may seem, but you're just messing around with all these different um, spices, and what I mean by spices is this, these little inputs and, um, and, uh, compressors and reverbs and whatnot till till something tastes good to your ears <laughs> i guess i don't know but uh anyway i don't necessarily know what these knobs mean so 
what I like to do is click on these arrows which go through presets and what you do is you press play and it'll play through your voice um, once it's playing through your voice you can hit on these little arrows and you'll hear the changes in your voice once you go through different presets and you just you just stop on the one you really like and then you just leave it and you X out once that presets on there um, you can put a little reverb I always like to do that it's like a little echo I want to say and the same thing you do you play your voice again and you just hit, go through the um, presets just listen to what you think is good and then uh, you X out of it and you just keep going on with um, all these different little um, inserts I guess you want to call it delay bank um, convolver I don't even know what half of them do but it's the generic um, preset you know arrow thing that really helps out because then you get to um, just go and see what sounds best to you and you don't necessarily have to go too great of detail and I don't really know too much about these presets and um, what the differences are or what they all necessarily mean like all the knobs and stuff but basically if you just mess around with it until you get your voice just the way you want it that's how it's gonna sound and it's gonna sound good if you do like it like that um, and you can also do this for other sounds it doesn't even have to be for your voice you can put it in for your clap or your kick or on on separate channels this is just for your this is just dedicated to your recording so and you can put those other ones uh, the claps and the kick and whatnot in different channels and add the same things on top of them and then um, yeah you just play it back until it sounds nice now I will say before you start off with anything you might want to uh, be in a room with soft surfaces what I mean by that is you know you don't have like hardwood floor or tile or anything like I have like a little sound booth and what you can do if you really want to you can hang up some blankets around you or something because the soft surfaces absorb sound and also isolate it it makes your um, voice sound like chocolate now right now I am not recording in my sound booth I am just recording in this little corner of my room so it's not going to sound as good and like I said before I apologize for any of the white noise coming from my computer or uh, Xbox but anyways guys uh, I hope that helps um, there's not a lot to it actually it's pretty simple once you get it down and you see what you're like and just mess around with those presets and you'll eventually find something you like so uh, thanks for watching